Hey makers, welcome back. Uh, this is Brian McDonald with Make It So 3D. And today uh, I want to talk briefly about the history of this go-kart that I'm currently building. Uh, it's about two foot by two foot. Um, it is a 3D printed project that I started a few months ago uh, after taking some interest in uh, adult go-karting on Instagram. So I wanted to take a stab at a vehicle design with four wheels. Um, I'd never done this kind of work before. Uh, all of my professional work has consisted of consumer products. And I've also never done any uh, four wheeled vehicles in my hobby work either. But I do follow guys like Scott Robertson and Daniel Simon uh, who do incredible vehicle work that I admire very much. So I started off with a little research uh, and some sketching uh, to really kind of get a good overall feel for the proportion and placement of the components of the vehicle. Uh, after I felt good about that, uh, I started to uh, try to understand the, the different systems um, so that I could organize uh, this project uh, by system. So how I decided to organize things were um, the frame the wheels, uh, the propulsion system, the suspension system, and the cowling. So the first system I wanted to tackle was the wheels. Um, the placement uh, and proportion of the wheels to the rest of the vehicle body. Um, and there was a few interesting uh, features I wanted to add to the wheels. One was I wanted them to be hubless uh, because of the because of the different online trends I see with vehicle concept designs they always include hubless wheels so I wanted to add that in the next thing I wanted to add was an airless tire instead of a traditional uh, foam filled tire that you'd find on RC cars or air fill that you find on any other vehicle uh, what influenced my decision to add an airless tire was NASA uh, it's something they used on their rovers to kind of deal with varying terrain so the next thing that I thought I'd look at is the suspension system uh, and my influences there were taken directly from uh, Formula One and Indy uh, using their inboard suspension. Um, I just think the mechanical aspect of that is is interesting and being a mechanical engineer I thought I'd try to tackle that. So at this point um, I've outlined the proportion of the vehicle, uh, all of the different components where they will go, uh, kind of how they'll integrate together. Um, I also decided to make the back tires twice as wide as the front tires. It gives it a sort of aggressive look. So I then dropped my sketches into Fusion 360 and began to outline um, the proportions of the vehicle with dummy models. Uh, of course I used cylinders uh, for the tires and wheels and I used rectangles for the frame um, and then I began to take those dummy models and break them down to even more complex components. I then took advantage of Fusion's sculpt environment where I could uh, lay out all the wheels and then sculpt between them uh, with NURBS geometry. Then after the mainframe and wheels and suspension systems were in place um, I could create a secondary frame uh, to which I would add on the cowling, uh, the part of the vehicle that showed off all the colors and protected all the internal components. I wanted to go for a sort of layer cake look to the cowling, uh, different layers, different colors, plates. I thought that would uh, add visual interest uh, at the same time uh, providing protection to the internal components. Then, once I was happy with how everything looked in the renderings of the different model components, I started organizing my STLs to print out all of the components. It took about six or eight weeks to print out everything, and it wasn't a linear process either. Uh, after printing out a few frame components, uh, I discovered that not everything fit together the same way it does in the 3D environment. Go figure. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, that's all part of the design process. And it's the fun part for me. So I printed a few things, made some changes to the model, printed it out again. Things fit. 
And I went on from there, step by step, in that same two steps forward, one step back manner. So after weeks of that process, uh, and as you can see, all of the components are connected together. Uh, I used very little glue. Uh, my goal is to always snap fit everything, uh, which requires some tighter tolerances. And I'll get into that as I break down the different components. So stay tuned. There's definitely more to come. Uh, I look forward to finishing this project up. It has been a labor of love for sure. Um, I had actually moved in the process of building this. So uh, I'll be glad to take a break from this part of the process. Uh, the first video I'll be releasing is the assembly of the hubless wheel. And I'll go through uh, more details about that design in that video. So thanks for watching and catch you next time on Make It So 3D. See ya.